Hi, my name is Veronica, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. <laughs> That was very good. Let's do it. just maybe one or two more, okay? Dante's Box Nation, what's going on, guys? So the biggest fight to date on free TV or the closest thing to free TV, ESPN, goes down tomorrow. You know, I applaud Bob Arum for putting this fight on regular ESPN as opposed to ESPN Plus where people would have to pay for the fight. I've been telling you guys for the longest, this is the only way the sport will grow is by giving the average casual fans an opportunity to watch this fight for free. All the fans that go into bars and just watch all type of different games, etc., etc. Now Lomachenko and Tio Fimo, they're going to be exposed to those type of fans. And once again, guys, this is another reason why you need to get that Block TV. Block TV, it has ESPN and every other channel you can think of, including free pay-per-view. The app is no joke. It's high, high definition, and it works on your phone or your TV, and it's set up and it plays just like cable. I'm telling you right now, and if you haven't got that app, you're sleeping. Make sure you go ahead and download it on Apple Store or uh, Google Play Store. But if you download it on Apple, make sure you download the app So Player. And make sure you guys put in my promo code to get 30% off of your first month. Also, if you guys were wondering, watching the fight on this app on ESPN, it still contributes to the views that this fight generates on ESPN. So getting back to Bob Arum and this whole fight. Bob Arum said a lot of the things that I've been saying to you guys for years. I want to quote what he said, but he also expressed his concerns on how many views this fight will pull in because it's very important for ESPN to pull in a certain amount of views since they're gambling by putting this fight on ESPN as opposed to the paid app ESPN3 or ESPN+. Plus. For those of you guys who don't know, Whenever ESPN decides to put the fight on their actual regular ESPN channel, they have to actually pay a lot more money for the fight. So it's more important that this fight does some really good numbers. Now, this is what uh, Bob Arum had to say, quote, thanks to ESPN, it heralds a change that will only help boxing. And that is when you take many of your best events and you show it to the public for free. It builds the biggest possible audience. I mean, every other sport does it. The college football championship, the Final Four, the Super Bowl, the World Series, none of that is behind a paywall. Every one of those events are shown to big television audiences. Now, if boxing is going to have a resurgence, it has to happen. There will be some events that will be just so expensive that you have to do it on pay-per-view, like a big heavyweight fight. But a lot of the others are really fights that should be shown on regular television to showcase what a great sport boxing is. Excellent points by Bob Arum. So then Bob, he starts to talk about the viewership of the fight. He says, if it doesn't get the number of viewers that I hope it gets, then television networks are not gonna be emboldened to step up to the plate to show these type of events on regular television, end quote. So hopefully this fight, it does do some good views. The last big fight that was on free TV was Keith Thurman versus Danny Garcia. That fight peaked at 5 million views. Now, I don't expect this fight, Lomachenko versus Lopez, to do those kind of numbers, but if they could do 2 million, that would be a huge success. If they did a million, that would still be somewhat of a success, but 2 million would be a huge success. 2 million and above would be a huge success. Lou Bella was talking about the numbers and he says he doesn't see this fight doing 2 million views. He says they would be lucky and he would call it a success if the fight did 1.2 million views. I hear some people say you can't compare the views that people were getting before the pandemic to the views today, but that's not necessarily true because now that we're watching fights with no audience, that means more people can tune in by watching it on television. So, you know, whoever doesn't show up that would have bought a ticket and watched it live, they can all still watch it on ESPN. 
But I'll close out with making the point that I made at the beginning of this video when I told you that this is the biggest fight of the year, at least to date. And it's the biggest fight because it's the most significant fight. Because this is one of those fights that can change the entire landscape of boxing. If Lomachenko wins this fight, this is a huge win for him. This is like his Canelo Alvarez. This would no doubt solidify his position as being top two pound for pound, one of the best fighters in the world. But also if Loma wins this fight, that may set up a possible fight between him and Devin Haney, since Lomachenko actually gave up his belt to avoid the Devin Haney fight. Now, once he gets past uh, Teofimo Lopez, he will have no reason not to fight Devin Haney, especially if he wants to get his belt back. We already know that franchise status is not a belt, the WBC president himself made a mistake by admitting he said that it's not a belt. He said it's not even a championship. It's just the status, basically. But of course, now that Lomachenko is not facing someone like Devin Haney, someone on a coincidental list, now Mauricio Solomon, he changes what he said before, and he now says that Lomachenko is the real WBC champion because he is the franchise champion. So we know what time it is, but moving on. But if Lopez wins this fight, it is the complete changing of the guards. He takes down a pound for pound champion and starts a complete new chapter in this era of boxing. And then if Lopez wins, that is going to make a Lopez versus Javante Tank Davis fight, a Lopez versus Devin Haney fight, even bigger than the Lomachenko fight. I truly believe that. Especially against Javante Tank Davis, if Javante goes in there and he just blows out or just dominates Leo Santa Cruz. So I'm really personally looking forward to watching this fight. I mean, honestly, I haven't been this eager to watch a fight this year. This is the first one. This is the first fight that has got me like waiting for it because once again, there's so much on the line when it comes to who wins this fight. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. What's going on guys? You know, I've always wanted to find a second source of income. And I've always wanted to learn about stocks and trades because I've heard so much good stuff about it. So I finally found a way to do it. And now I'm learning from six, seven, eight figure traders. So not only am I learning from them, but the most important thing is I get to copy their trade. So I get to earn while I learn. Now, if you want the full details, click on the link below so you can learn why you copy and paste their trades. And just understand this, guys, just by watching the video, you're doing a great job of supporting my channel and I appreciate it. And the craziest thing about doing this trading is you can do it anywhere. All you need is an internet connection and you can do it just with your phone. So if you wanna learn how to make a second income alongside me without having to pitch, sell, or recruit, go ahead and click on the link below and I'll see you inside. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Basically, you will end up with a haircut shape up or an edge up. What they do is they tattoo small dots that look like hair follicles in the areas where you have lost your hair and then blend it with your existing hair. You can even choose what type of hairline you want, hard shape up or soft and natural finish. And to maintain it, all you gotta do is shave your hair every few days, which is something you already were probably doing anyway. So if you wanna get this hook up for my brothers out there in the UK and Europe, make sure you check out The Scalp This on Instagram. And for my brothers out there in the States, make sure you go ahead and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. And when you go on their pages, you can see for yourself what these guys look like before. I mean, these guys are literally hair magicians. I've never seen anything like this before, but all I can tell you guys is this is a serious game changer for us men. So make sure you get in contact with Scalptus and Scalp Carolinas on Instagram.